Hey, you guys. I had some uh, audio troubles uh, with the tracks here with a major portion of this video, so I'm going to narrate through here. Here I'm laying out the base holes for the hinge portion. Uh, I'm using a nice Starrett scriber. Uh, scriber works really great with wood, and then you can use it as a quick center punch. Now we're drilling uh, the base out here. That's a one inch Forsner bit, and I'm be drilling it so the flange end of the hinge is just a little bit below the surface. And here I'm just testing uh, the depth. Yeah. So it takes a few few attempts here to get the depth just right. You'll see that's flush and just a little bit more to bring it down. Forzner bits are nice, nice drill bits for wood. Uh, very accurate uh, holes, nice clean cut edges as long as you keep them sharp and maintain them. And they give a flat bottom hole. Okay. You'll notice there's a white dowel end in the edge of that board, and uh, which I we will uh, take care of, fix that up here. This is a three-quarter inch Forsner. Forsner bit leaves a little tip like a center punch mark, uh, so it's easy to recenter up uh, your next drill bit. Nice clean hole. So here's the top of the box, and we're doing the same thing uh, for it. Uh, one, this is a one-inch bit again. Now the top of the box is made of teak. The bottom of the box is made of Hawaiian koa. The teak I scavenged uh, from uh, Panama back in the 80s. I made a backsplash for a sink in our one of our bathrooms in our house, and uh, we remodeled a little bit, and that came out, so I saved the wood. And uh, we're doing a little repurposing here of it. But it's nice and flat. Uh, I resawed it many, many, many years ago, and uh, so it's a pretty nice piece of wood. Here I'm doing a little measurement. I could have held the piece in there the same way, but here I decided to measure it. Now I'm drilling with a 5 8 Forsner bit the rest of the way through. Now I'm going to be making some Koa dowels plugs. They're a half inch long, three-eighths in diameter with this plug cutter. Just This way you get to make the plugs uh, match the wood you're working with and uh, usually you come out with a pretty good match. You can kind of pick and choose the wood, darkness, lightness, things like that. I wasn't too particular in this case but you can be and uh, you can get a very good match uh, plugging a hole, a screw hole uh, and such. Now these will just break right out of there. Just pop them with a screwdriver and they'll, they'll flip right out. Sometimes. There they go. Or you could use a completely contrasting wood and uh, make a really nice dark plug or something like that. Now I'm going to take this uh, little chunk of dowel that's in there out and we'll replace it with a koa one I just use a 3 8 brad point drill here and it will cut it and it just spins it right out of there actually it gets the little plug right out There we go, kind of stuck to the drill. 
Brad points are also really good. Uh, make you a nice, pre precise, clean-cut hole. So, yeah, it's going to go. And we'll get that glued in. You use plenty of glue on these things. Uh, they don't fit super, super tight in there. Kind of a little bit of a gap sometimes. So plenty of glue. And make sure you line the grain up. There we go. I'll twist it a little bit. That's a line in that wood grain so that they look the same. Tap it in. And then let the glue set. Yeah, close up of it. I've already glued in the hinges uh, pieces uh, with epoxy. On that uh, the bottom there. And uh, now I just need to do a little sanding on the, the holes here. That it's a little bit snug. So I'm just showing you how I did that. Roll up a piece of sandpaper off the orbital sander and spin it around a little bit and keeps your hole pretty round that way and it's a pretty quick setup I uh, just it just needed a little bit and went right in and I made that so that was flush also for the depth here's a little test fit see how that's gonna go We still have some sanding to do on the box, uh, as you see there, uh, and the finish, of course. I still need to trim the box lid here, so we'll be marking that. So we're going to mark that out, cut it on the bandsaw. And then we'll sand all the edges together at the same time. You can see how hard it is to get apart. If the magnet really is holding it. After we get it all glued and the hinges glued in, we'll sand it. Okay, assembly is complete. Here's the top. That's the magnet end of the hinge. This is just a piece of steel. When I turned down, I did not show that. It's just a little wafer. Magnet over here and the rest of the hinge. Now I've left the, left the steel part out of this hinge just to show you how nice this works. So that just slips in there, right? And then spins around. It will spin 360, but it, it just catches right on that other magnet. This, this one and that, right? Just catches there. That's your catch. Pretty slick. Now we'll put the steel part in. That drops down in there. We'll retract it all the way so there's a gap. That'll snap in. Now there's even there, even there, there's a little bit of grab, but it spins nice and free. Now you can you'll be able to adjust that to even max up till it just touches that'd to be maximum grab and it's hard to pull apart actually very hard so if you're putting a box or something so it just flips right around again there we go there's our box uh pretty much self-aligning Line's pretty close, just a little lip there, but you just push it, you know. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to clean up the edges and put a finish on it. And that's the end. That's where either you adjust if you want to adjust the magnet uh, grab in there. That's it. That's where I plugged the hole. There was an old dowel in that piece of it. I was recovering a piece of the koa. That's what this is, uh, Hawaiian koa. And I cut out the white hardwood dowel that was there and installed a koa hardwood dowel to match. The top is teak. 
piece of teak I brought back from Panama a very long time ago and it was used as a backsplash in our house and I recycled some of this and it will give it a little more sand and fix up the edges and our box will be complete of course no velvet though but we're gonna work on that here's the tool I'll sit right in there and then that just closes right up on there quick branding handmade by Randy Richard and uh, I'm just gonna put it on there kind of crooked That came out pretty good. Kind of tough to do. It depends on wood and uh, what you got going there. A little sand on that and then uh, finish. I'm just using a Danish oil here. I think it's fruit wood. It's not natural stuff, but it's barely any color to it really at all. So. Just a hand rubbing in here with lint free rag. Actually, it's a very old t shirt. Well, really old t shirts have all the lint washed out of them. They work really good for uh, lint free rags. So, goop it up really good, nice and wet. Let it dry for 15 minutes or so and do it again. It'll, so, it soaks off as much as you can into it. And, uh,. Give a little buffing after about an hour or so and pretty much done. I like oil finishes. Easy to put on. Usually always look nice. Especially for stuff in the shop. It's quick and quick, easy and and it still looks good. Okay, finishes on. Final assembly. Came out pretty good. Here we go, there's the brand. So, just snap together. Boom. Spins around like nothing lines up just flick with the flick and catches tool inside boom there we go a little bit loose but that's uh, the way it is it's kind of the nature of the beast so there's a finished box very happy with it it was actually a lot more work than I thought because of the hinge and working with wood and metal. Hinge works very well though. Um, this was a prototype. It's the first one I've ever made. I designed and made it. I like to make it out of brass actually instead of aluminum. Uh, so, But the first time making something you, you make it out of plastic or aluminum. It's a little cheaper. So... I might uh, do some more of these things on there. I'd love to engrave that with a, like my logo. Um, that's what I'm kind of thinking there somehow. So uh, maybe we'll see some more of these boxes in the future. I have a couple other things I want to make boxes for. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching the project.